In the exhilarating YouTube video 50 YouTubers fight for $1 million, the stakes are incredibly high as 50 content creators vie for the grand prize of $1 million, which will be awarded to the last YouTuber remaining. The competition kicks off with an intense and highly anticipated free throw challenge, where participants must attempt a basketball shot to win a Cybertruck for a subscriber. The pressure is palpable as several contestants miss their shots, leading to immediate eliminations and the departure of some fan favorite YouTubers. As the competition heats up, tensions rise, with one participant even seizing the moment to gather scattered dollar bills from the floor, adding an extra layer of intrigue. The next challenge is a cookie cutting contest where the YouTubers are divided into teams, each led by a captain. The captains must decide which of their team members will cut for cookies without breaking them. The task proves to be more difficult than anticipated, as the challenge requires precision and careful handling. The bonus umbrella awarded to one participant turns out to be a disadvantage rather than a help, and the competition sees the elimination of several notable contestants, the camaraderie and friendships formed among the remaining participants become increasingly important as they navigate the challenges ahead. With 11 contestants eliminated, the remaining 34 enter the next phase of the competition, a giant game of Jenga. In a twist, contestants are duct taped to their partners, creating both physical and strategic challenges. The towering Jenga game becomes a test of teamwork and balance, but the strategy backfires as the height of the tower makes it nearly impossible to reach the top without causing it to collapse. An unexpected development occurs when Mr. Beast admits to a mistake in the previous challenge and switches to regular Jenga, increasing the intensity of the game. The fourth challenge introduces a deal or no deal the twist, featuring Howie Mandel. Contestants face off in a game where they must choose whether to steal or keep a briefcase, which could either contain the million dollar prize or lead to elimination. Logan Paul and Kai become central figures in this challenge, with Kai choosing to steal Logan's briefcase. As the contestants strategize and attempt to bluff their way through the game, the stakes are higher than ever, with the community closely following each twist and turn. The competition continues with a high-pressure segment where contestants must decide whether to keep or steal a briefcase while tracking their heart rates using a Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 6. As the game nears its climax, only two safes and two eliminations remain, making every decision crucial. In the fifth challenge, participants face a team cooking contest with blindfolded teammates and a limited time frame to prepare dishes for a panel of judges, Joey Chestnut, Miranda Cosgrove, and Aisho Speed. The contestants showcase a range of culinary skills, from cordon bleu to spaghetti tacos. The judges meticulously taste and score the dishes, leading to the elimination of the bottom two teams based on taste, creativity, and presentation. With only five contestants left, they are set for the final challenge. The final challenge tests the contestants' ability to read each other's poker faces. Blindfolded, they are given briefcases and must figure out who holds the million-dollar prize based on their fellow competitors' behavior and bluffing skills. The challenge is a psychological game of trust and deception, with the remaining players casting votes to eliminate those they believe do not have the money. As the final moments of the video approach, the tension is at its peak. A tie between two contestants leads to a dramatic second round where everyone is blindfolded once again to select briefcases. In a climactic finish, the viewers are invited to vote on who they believe should win. The votes are tallied, and Jaden is declared the winner. Jaden announces her plans to use the prize money to support struggling artists by sending them to art school.